Okay, so so let's talk about the music for a second. Were you doing music before you got locked up that first time? No. I went out. I'd never been in a studio or nothing. I would just go to dances like house parties, Jamaican house parties, and take the mic and, and sing Coca T. And then, you know, I sing all these guys' songs. I didn't want to be a singer. It wasn't like, okay, let me get in the studio. And I was just doing it for fun and loved reggae music. It just captured me. It's just like, oh my God. It's just like, blah, blah, blah. And then that was it. So I wasn't studio and trying to get into a studio or nothing until I went to New York and was hanging on Jamaica Avenue in Queens. And then, uh, Shan came down to buy some herb, and there and I knew Shan from you know I was like yo, oh. Shan's like I heard you could sing. I was like oh. he's like let me hear you. And I was like blah, 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 blah. he's like yo come to my house. I was like all right I got nothing to do Shan. I said all right, so went to Shan's house. And that time Shan's already told the story in the Source magazine, so I'm not blowing his thing or whatever. He was kind of low on money, you know. He blessed always, but he was a little bit low on money. And that time I was a I was a criminal. I was a booster. I just got to America, you know. So I, the dog's hungry, the kids are, I said, why? I go over to AP and P, I take all the steaks, roast. So he, he's like, who the hell is this guy? I got him feeding the road. The dogs are eating burritos, everybody's eating. And that's when he said, okay, do a harmony. I'm like, brother, what's a harmony? <laughs> he's like, okay, boom. So Shan actually taught me everything about the studio, you know? So, and that's what happened. We went to do the album, did Girl Ever Hurt, Lonely Monday Morning, Informer, all them songs. Did the video for Informer, Silver Cup Studio. Never done a video, never been in front of a TV before. Now I'm doing videos. I go sign to Warner Brothers, East West, whatever they were. And um, I said, but listen, I got to go back home. I got to charge at home. I got to go deal with that crowbar. They said, all right. So I did the video, did the album. Never heard the album mixed. Never saw the video edited. Went back to Toronto. Judge gave me another year. He was going to give me three. He gave me two. Because it was the same judge that DO'd me for my two attempt murders. Humphreys. So he detained me. So when we got to this charge, we said, Your Honor, you detained him for a charge that he beat when he was not guilty. He says, oh, he said, yeah, and he did a year, you know, dead time. He says, oh, you got a year of credit. The Crown's asking for a year. I'm thinking, boom, I'm getting out. Nah, it didn't work that. He says, I'm giving you that credit and another year on top of that. I said, all right, that's cool, you know. I didn't even think the music was going to do anything anyways. I was like, I had fun with Shannon and them. Turned around, looked at them guys. They were all in the court. I said, bye, and I went to jail. Now, I got 12 months, eight months, seventh month. I get out in eight, right? Seventh month, they starting to release my stuff in America. Lonely Monday Morning was my first single, Underground. So I say, uh. I'm in jail. I get a phone call in jail. You can phone the bubble. It's called the bubble. You can phone in and then you got to phone back the person. I phoned back the person who he was in jail with me. He just got out. But everybody knows me in jail, right? Everybody knows me. They know my family. They know everybody. So I call him. I said, what up? He says, yo, I saw your video on Rap City. I said, my video's not out yet. He's like, yo, I seen it's on Rap City. I'm like, nah. So I said, all right, because on Friday and Saturday, after the movie, we watch a movie in jail. We watch Rap City and all the bikers, everybody, they all go to their cells. And, you know, all of us, we watch the Rap City. So I tell a couple people, I'm like, yo, 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 I think my video's coming on. I've never seen myself on TV. What? Well, I go to the to, to lunch or dinner, what day, a lunch or dinner, I forget what it was, where everybody, you know, the whole jail's there. Yo, Snow, how are your video coming on tonight? I said, I don't know, brother. I hope so. I hope, you know, I'm like, I hope it's not Vanilla Ice or Marky Mark. Bless them, but I hope it's not them. You know, like this guy mistake me for. So I'm like, yo. So everybody that night, everybody, the bikers, the this, everybody's watching Rap City to see my video. That I hope it's coming on. I'm pacing, you know. Like I'm on the nervous game. I'm on the nerve. This got me more nervous than going to jail. You know what I mean? So I'm on the nervous row. So I'm just. And then I hear, ba -na 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 -na. I'm like, what? Like I'm running back and the TV's up there and I run by the TV and everybody's there. And I'm like, yo, and I'm singing in Farmer and everybody's there. And, and then after that, the biker, he came like, yo, Snow, give me your autograph. I said, all right, stay sweet, brother. Don't worry about everything. You'll be all right. And then I got out to a limousine and drove me around and I was number one in the world. So that's how it happened. I was like from stealing, boosting, fighting, going to jail to getting out to a number one song in the world. So I was like, wow, it was kind of like, threw me for a loop, you know?